The primary mission was to engage the Germans who were in full retreat at that particular time. The roads in that particular area were very, very narrow. His tank pulled over to the side of the road. Tama was up in his usual position in the turret. And with his binoculars, he looked <clears throat> off and several miles away he saw a tremendous amount of personnel movement. <coughs> and he thought it was the Germans, German armies. The captain informed him that they were nearing a concentration camp and the odds are that these were the victims of that particular concentration camp. So they proceeded down this road, took several hours to get there. When the Germans saw the American tank column advance, they quickly retreated. But there were thousands and thousands of refugees, victims of this concentration camp, in the roads in front of Tamo, coming out of the concentration camp. Tamo reflected uh, many times as to the condition that these people were in. When they reported back to headquarters, the one thing that they cautioned the tankers is don't give the these uh, concentration camp victims, any of the C rations, K rations at that time, uh, because they, the system could not handle it. So the U.S. forces sent aid, if you will, but it took several hours for these folks to actually get back into the camp where they could be treated. Thomas said, unfortunately, many of these folks were so overwhelmed at the sight of being liberated by this American column of tanks, but they were dying right there. And I know Tamo, when, when we've talked about it at flotilla meetings and whatnot, he has a hard time maintaining his composure when he thinks about it. Tamo truly is a hero to those folks. He's been honored by the Holocaust Foundation in years past in Washington, and they're trying to perpetuate and ensure that the victims of those uh, severe crimes are not forgotten.